Well, hello friends, welcome back to the program. Today, I just got back from the gym and I am super tired, but I still wanna do some programming. So we're gonna do something simple uh, and it's gonna be about the terminal. So uh, I wanna add a way to clear the terminal easily uh, and not just like what's currently visible, but also all of this scroll back history, right? Because if you press Control L, you can clear um, like the lower part, but the history is still here, as you can see. So I want to have some kind of mm, keyboard shortcut that just nukes everything, uh, because that's really nice. Sometimes if you say that you're doing like you're doing this thing where you're editing a little bit and then you try to build and then uh, you only want to see the latest build errors, but you run your build command and then you scroll up and there's like this mix of the old compile output and the new compile output. That's annoying. So, <laughs> uh, so if we're going to add some kind of clear uh, or like erase all history or I don't know, clear history maybe? Clear all including history thing to the terminal. So uh, we'll start by just adding an ac action for it to the terminal widget. So we'll call it um, erase all. Maybe erase all, oh, yeah. Or maybe clear is a clear, uh, clear including history. Action. Yeah, that's a bit more descriptive. Okay, and we'll just here, including history, cool, and then um, let's see how we use this stuff. I guess we need to add the action, actually. Action actually, so clear, including history, action. All right, so wherever we create the copy and paste actions, we can also do this action. And one thing that you'll note is special about copy and paste actions in the terminal is that they don't use the standard keyboard shortcuts, which are control C and control V, but rather they use control shift C and control shift V respectively. And that's because um, when you're interacting with terminal programs that very often, you know, control C means interrupt and uh, control V. We didn't actually implement this behavior yet, but and normally control V is like, um, it's this thing you use to, to create special characters. Like if you wanted to create like um, a tab character, um, you can do that by pressing Control V tab. Uh, I'm not sure actually how that's implemented on Linux, but uh, maybe someday we'll, we'll implement that too. Anyway, uh, so right now we just want to create an action for this. So we'll call it clear, uh, including history. It's a bit of a mouthful, but eh, whatever. So I think we'll use um, Control Shift K for this. Seems like a reasonable shortcut. And I don't have an icon for it, but I guess we can set up a callback. So that'll be something like this. Clear, uh, including history. Okay, and then we'll add it to the context menu of the terminal widget. Maybe even with a little separator to separate him from the copy and paste, which are more like, I don't know, like editing things. And this here is like, it feels a little bit separate, I guess. Anyway, so there we go. And maybe in the terminal app main thingy, we should also add this to the menu. So where do we add the copy action? have an edit menu. So I think we'll put this in a view menu, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't feel like it belongs in edit, I guess. So we'll just add an action to it. Terminal clear, including history action. Okay, so that should be it for that. And then um, now we just have to implement it. So we'll put it here. Terminal legit clear including history. And really it will probably just call through to the 
um, terminal object, which already has a clear, what does that do? Um, it iterates through all of the rows. So these are just the bottom rows. It doesn't include the scroll back. And then it, so it iterates through all of them and it clears everything and then moves the cursor to um, zero, zero. So we kind of want to do this, but just this plus deleting the history. So I think we'll have a separate helper clear including history on the terminal object. And we'll put him next to clear. So clear including history maybe. Or in fact, it could even be a, um, no, um, we can have two separate functions, it's okay. But I think we will have the, um, this guy will call the regular clear, of course. So how do we store history? I don't remember exactly. I guess it's just the history vector. Maybe we can just nuke it like that. Um, what kind of state do we have that we need to get rid of? I guess after we do this, we have to make sure that we re like if you were scrolled in the history scroll back when this happens, then we need to um, make sure that you're not scrolled anymore. So that would happen in the terminal widget. Um, now, what do we normally do with the scroll bars? Scroll bar set value. I think maybe we can just, oh, this is what we do. We set him to the max value, but wait, but who updates the range? Set max when the history changes. Oh, okay, so there's a thingy here. So I think if we just fire this, um, this is a virtual terminal client thing. Okay, okay. So somebody was thinking ahead. Very nice. Thank you, Past Andreas. So in the terminal, we just need to fire our um, client um, terminal history changed. Boom. The beauty of um, having a client interface. Okay. So, look at that, we have all the scroll back, but what if I press Control shift k Boom. And we are like completely super duper clear. Um, which I guess is fine, although now we're at the bottom again. Why are we at the bottom? That's a little bit weird. Um, hmm. I wonder if that is a, that's probably a lib line thing. Because, I mean, we very clearly move the cursor. Like you can see now that the cursor is here, but then the uh, line editing library has his own idea of where the cursor is. So um, I'm not sure if that's a good thing actually, but it's definitely outside the scope of what I'm doing here. The important thing now is that there is no more history. Oh wait, space, space, fine doesn't work? It does work. Mm. Okay, uh, never mind. <laughs> so, scroll back, control L, sure, but there's still scroll back, control shift K, boom, everything gone. So, that's pretty nice. And there it is. Clear including history. I'm not sure that I love the um, name. But I also don't know what else to call it, like erase. But the part where we like include the history, that's the important part to understand. So maybe this is the best name. I don't know. I guess we could we could have a, a separate one for like control. I was thinking control shift L because actually when I do press control L, um, it's just generating a character that the shell reacts to. So uh, I wonder how we do that here. 
yeah, so when the line editor in libline uh, gets a control L, then what we do is we print out a clear screen um, escape sequence. And then I guess here we update our origin to 1.1, one, one, which is the line editor's own idea of where the cursor is. So uh, we should just not mess with that. But, um, but yeah, I, th I think this feature is good enough. For, for me, because this is what I wanted. And yeah, let's commit. <laughs> it's like, uh, and I'm not used to making this short of a, a little thing, but we'll do it. T and clear, including history. Action. Control shift K. Uh, oh, wait, can we fit one of those guys? <clears throat> yes, we can. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just want to get rid of all your scroll back history, the terminal, and now there's a way to do that. Cool. Okay, so. <laughs> I think this is going to be it for today's video. I am so tired. <laughs> so, um, we'll, we'll run the JavaScript test suite here and uh, generate some scroll back. All right. And then we will just nuke all of it. Boom. Very cool. Okay. That's it for today's video. Uh, thank you for watching and um, thank you thank you for stopping by. <laughs> uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.